2,000 years ago in the town of Nazareth lived a young woman named Mary. She was engaged to be married to Joseph, a carpenter. One day, the angel of the Lord appeared to her and told her that she was going to bear the Son of God. Soon after the angel's visit, Mary and Joseph were married. Mary was due to have her baby when a new leader named Caesar Augustus ordered all people to go back to their homeland for a census. So Mary and Joseph headed down to Bethlehem, Joseph's hometown. Mary and Joseph, weary from their long journey and with Mary about to have the baby soon, began looking for a place to sleep. But every place they went to, they were turned away because it was full. Until at last they came to a small inn. They asked the innkeeper for a room to stay and the kind innkeeper took pity on them. He offered them some room in a manger. Joseph made a warm place for Mary to rest and so it was that a few hours later, Mary gave birth to little baby Jesus. Mary wrapped Jesus in strips of cloth and gently laid him in a manger full of hay. Now on this beautiful night, not far away, some sleepy shepherds were watching their sheep when suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared before them and the glory of God shone over them and the shepherds were terribly afraid. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I am here with good news for you which will bring great joy to all nations. This very day in David's town your Savior was born, Christ the Lord, and this is what will prove it to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloth, lying in a manger. Then a group of heaven's angels appeared and began singing praises to God. After the angels departed from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has shown us. The shepherds followed the star in haste and with great excitement. They reached the manger where they found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying there. Seeing this, they understood that the word of God had been spoken to them concerning this child. They told Mary and Joseph the story of how the angel of God had appeared to them, and they fell on their knees and glorified and praised God for all of the things they had heard and seen. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. Tis the night of our dear Savior's birth. Meanwhile, some way off, three kings were making their way through the night. They had been traveling for months across thousands of miles following a bright star which had appeared in the sky. Because they were wise men, they realized that the star was a sign that the king of the world had been born. We three kings of Orient are Bearing gifts we traverse afar Field and fountain more and mountain following yonder star. The star led them to Bethlehem, to the manger where baby Jesus was. When they walked into the manger, they found baby Jesus with Mary and Joseph. Seeing the child, they were filled with exceedingly great joy and brought him gifts. Born a king on Bethlehem's plain, cold I bring to crown him. Forever ceasing, never over us all to reign. Frankincense to offer have I, incense owns a deity nigh. Prayer and praising, gladly raising, worship. 
worship Him, God Most High. Myrrh is mine, its bitter perfume breathes a life of gathering gloom, sorrowing, sighing, bleeding, dying, sealed in a stone. The kings and shepherds had seen what the angels foretold and the Lord promised. Baby Jesus would bring the light of love into the world, a love that would touch each one of us. It would remind us for all eternity of God's love for us. Sleep in hell.